Fentanyl is the single deadliest drug threat we have ever encountered. That's according to the Drug Enforcement Administration. I'm back with the fact check team tonight. Connor, fill us in here on what the Biden administration just announced to fight fentanyl. Eugene, there are several things they've done. One is making fentanyl a Schedule One drug because that would impose the strictest regulations on its production and distribution. The administration has also threatened to increase sanctions and has called on Congress to invest over $46 billion for national drug control program agencies. Now we have heard so many heartbreaking stories of overdose deaths. Is there anything that lawmakers uh, can do to help prevent more? Well, sure, Eugene. We found this new poll from Axios that found Republicans see fentanyl and other opioids as the biggest threat to America's public health. So there are a lot of ideas and bill proposals coming from conservative lawmakers. Now let's look at some of those. Uh, specifically, Courtney, what'd you find? A lot of their focus is on the border. Last month, Senator Lindsey Graham introduced a bill to designate cartels as foreign terrorist organizations, which would make it easier for the U.S. government to prosecute cartels or anyone associated with them. And then there's the call for military action. For example, Representative Dan Crenshaw introduced a bill that would authorize the use of military force against the cartels. Yeah, that's a very controversial approach that Mexico says, in fact, it would likely uh, violate its sovereignty. In reality, it's very unlikely that that'll happen. That's right. So far, the Biden administration has rejected those ideas. National Security Spokesperson Adrian Watson said the administration is not considering mil military action in Mexico and that designated these cartels cartels as foreign terrorist organizations would not grant the U.S. any additional authorities that we don't already have. Yeah, those ideas, you know, definitely make news, but actionable legislation is what victims, surviving loved ones would like to see, I'm sure. Uh, ladies, thank you both. And for more on this Fact Check Team topic, including links to the team's sources of information, you want to scan the QR code you see there on your screen. You can also visit us online at thenationaldesk.com.